I want to talk about what it means to be pro something. You know, people like the idea, as do I. I'm pro this, I'm pro that. It's nice to approve of things for a change, isn't it? In this age of negativity and drama. No, yeah, 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 man. I'm pro-choice. I'm pro-LGBT. You know, most people are like, I'm anti this, I'm anti that, man, fucking anti, yeah, hate the Nazis and fucking queers, like whatever side you're on. You know, but uh, I'm pro, I'm pro, you're, you sound much more tolerant. Even if you say it for something dark and heinous, like, Hey man, I'm pro death penalty. We're all friends here. Sounds better than uh, anti-life, doesn't it? You know, and, and I like to say that shit too. You know, I'm pro universal health care. I'm pro universal basic income. Pro universal education. Pro universal blowjobs. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is controversial now. Who's gonna turn down a free blowjob? Show of hands. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you will. Some hooker offers you a free blowjob. You're gonna be like, I want to know who's paying for this. Taxpayers, sugar, get over here. I may look like a street walker with no teeth, but I'm really a good government employee. Yeehaw! Unzip your pants. Yeah, but this is the problem with uh political people. They can't distinguish between their positions and their preferences. It's the difference between being anti-terrorist and joining the Marines. Don't put that shit on me now. I ain't fighting your war. That's like talking to your guy friend about sex, you know. Yeah, what's your favorite position, Brock? Doggy style, bro. Hands down. You're like, alright. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, what? Get down! Get your fucking hands down! Yeah! Yeah! Open up, boy! Get your hands down when I'm fucking you, boy! It's Mr. T, of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't mean it like that! Help! Rape! Yeah, you like that dog style, boy. By the way, what's your opinion on universal blowjobs? I could have done the straight version of that joke where you trick a bitch into anal, but... I'm not sure it would have been as funny. My point is that it's one thing to be in favor of something, but nobody really cares. Don't kid yourself. And what's so funny about an agenda anyway? You know, if you ask me, do I want free health care funded by my own tax dollars? Sure. But what I don't want is to get a letter in the mail from the Department of Health. Hmm, what do we have here? Achtung. If you have received this letter, it means you have not yet had your teeth cleaned in six months. You are hereby scheduled for August 23rd. If you wish to change this date, please contact the Department of Health and wait on the line for 20 minutes while you're sucking a dick. Aw, oh, shit. That's just great. I'm scheduled for an ass waxing that day. What, it, it's like, what if you don't care about your health? That's the funny thing about the term healthcare. A lot of people just don't care. It's like insurance. You know it's a scam. But you gotta have it, right? Well, that depends. If I hit you and I'm insured, then I'm fucked. Oh shit, my premium's gone up. If you hit me and you're insured, I get a bailout. But if I hit you and I'm not insured, your only available recourse would be to sue. Hey, you should've watched where you're going, buddy. Better call your insurance company, pal. You're gonna have to fix my taillight. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, funny thing about that. Huh? Uh, you got no insurance, dude? You know I could sue you for that, bruh. Oh, okay. Well, which of my, uh, luxurious assets would you like to take a stab at? Perhaps my shredded Nikes would suit you best. Or my melted chewing gum, perhaps? How about a half-eaten Big Mac? You hungry? Uh, y you know what? Uh, forget it, bro. It was an honest mistake. Let's go our separate ways. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, there are known consequences for not having certain things in life. But you have to assess the risks versus the cost. For example... I don't think university was ever worth my time, personally. Not even for a second. 
I mean, it, it certainly never expanded my avenues of thought like people said it would. You want to expand your mind? Do some LSD. Fuck the professor. Go find some drugs. There is so much more to learn at a much cheaper price. Yeah, subsidize that, tax man. Universal mushrooms. Let's make it happen. <laughs> now, I, I knew I wanted to be a comedian. But they don't give you a degree for that. In fact, campuses have become quite notorious for hating comedy and discrediting it any chance they get. So that's why I'm going to try and get gigs on or around college campuses. That's where they need me most. Comedy Genocide Tour, coming 2019. Another thing is uh, people in this country, yeah, they're always bitching about universal health care. We need universal health care. I'm like, okay, well, well, how the fuck are we going to pay for that when we can't even get universal Wi-Fi? Subsidize that, tax man. I want to be stranded on an uncharted island, surrounded by sharks with a volleyball, and still be able to binge watch Friends. Star Starbucks. Starbucks is nice. They'll let homeless people shoot up in the bathrooms. They don't give a fuck. Now, I used to work there, go in the bathrooms to clean the toilets. You'd see a scraggly dude with a needle in his arm passed out. You have to move him to the side so you can get to swab in the deck. Twelve hours later, the guy wakes up after closing when we've already locked the doors. Next morning, dude comes out, vomits all over the floor, slips and shits himself, and passes out again. We put a bunch of wet floor signs around him and clean him off with a mop. By the third day, dude's got a bed and a TV in the back room next to all the simple syrups. He's got a part-time job and dental. He's like part of the family now. I guess that's how you get a job at Starbucks and a shortcut. I don't know. They'll hire anybody. So of course you'll say, you know, why, Jake, that's your solution right there. Go to Starbucks all day and be a freeloader. But you can't jerk off there. No. Believe me, I tried. They had to give me a free drink just to get me to fuck off. Green tea frappuccino with coconut milk and extra whip. Mmm, mmm. How you guys doing? I'm doing alright. Under the circumstances. You don't even want to know, man. I gotta wake up early today for the uh, World Cup final. I'm excited about that. Go France! I'm kidding. I don't give a shit. I'm just saying that to be edgy. Trying to be edgy, bruh. Trying to be edgy, bruh. Yeah, I'm not rocking the fedora this time, so maybe you'll catch me next time. Uh, but I gotta wake up early for that shit. I try setting my alarm clock, but it never works. Not once. Not once in, I think, a year and a half have I successfully woken up from an alarm clock. House is on fire? Uh, uh. Uh, hit, hit me up in an hour. You know, I'll even say the text link. HMU in an hour. Ugh, I'm so lazy. Uh, there's a tornado going on? Uh, you know, maybe I want to dance with midgets and scarecrows. Fuck off. Uh. We're being evicted? This is why I keep a Glock under my pillowcase. I can hide a body if I'm well rested. I can't put my clothes on if I'm not. Alright, fuckos, I'm Jake Jones. This is Ignorance. Come like my Facebook page, it's in the link. Till next time, let's keep on raging for the win, motherfuckers.